Hello. Hey. <laughs> Long time no chat. I know. So where are you? I'm in Vancouver. I had a friend in Coquitlam. Uh -huh. Where are you at? I'm at Salt Spring with Ramayan and Zamir. Whoa. All right. Sounds radical. What are you guys talking about? Well, we're sort of uh, going into the nexus and going into the uh, missing pieces of the puzzle and uh, larger structure, infrastructure, conceptualization, and then looking at what missing pieces do we each have within our own businesses and that sort of stuff. How's it clicking? Uh, I'm curious how it's clicking with Samir because I don't have much um, open communication with him. Well, it's good because he's he's very practical, hands-on with his own mystic yogi. Like he's just come out with a card set, he's teaching yoga online and offline. So he's he's much more in the sort of tangible, real, and focused world. And then Ramayan and I are sort of got so many different things kind of come together. It's a bit we can get lost in conceptual space. Gotcha. Oh, so he's actually good grounding for that. Yeah. Yeah. To bring it. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. But what about you? What's going on with Giordino? You're starting to pump out the videos. But but wait a sec, I gotta say something. There's something missing for me. Where's the framing? The framing? How's <laughs> the I thought that I thought that one of the biggest things you were doing was going to be framing the the uh, the videos within the kind of um, you know, I am, but I, 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 had to, I had to um, drop a few pieces into the, onto the table. Mm -hmm. um, there was too. There was so much information. Um, and I needed to get everybody on board with a vibrational tone, and so I've been putting out pieces, you know, of, of logic into the space. So that this is is above a lot of uh, people aren't meeting me in terms of listening yet in a lot of ways. Like I'm putting out this information. I've been called by the police. I've been called by health services. People, um, people do not respond in a way of how are you? What's going on for you right now? They respond in, I don't think you're okay, but I'm not even going to say message you that i'm just gonna call the authorities on you <laughs> um so that's been my experience by the vast majority of my my um close friends and my family um so yeah it basically it's in terms of the show is about aggregating our collective motion in the band of those colors right and that flag so right now everybody is a little like feeling destabilized by the seriousness in which I'm approaching uh, the fo my, my current focus, right? So I'm allowing the, this, um, the information that's been released to allow the static to cease being a chaotic refraction and to start being a channel of intelligence. And it's at that point when I start forming real bridges. And, and basically, I'm going one by one to everybody that I know because they need we need physical contact in order to actually develop an intelligent bridge of communication. And so one by one, um, I'm kind of stitching, like hands-on stitching connection to that vibration, that frequency. And it's at that point where when we have like a big enough team that then I'll initiate these colors in terms of bringing Destin 5, the channel of Destin 5, the channel of Earth 4, and the channel of Elrond 6 into um, a uh, uh, kind of a, mm, um, a media spell that we share in our intelligent focus into the wave of that information. So basically sharing the pulse, sharing our pulse models through frames of um, whatever we're going through in the week and then branding them as our collective alpha wave, our collective delta wave, our collective beta wave. 
Mm. You know, so right now I'm just allowing these logic pieces to float above where there's a lot of static because people don't know how to receive them. But this is slowly as I'm as I'm walking in a very intelligent pathway through the static, right? I'm creating intelligent channels for that logic to sink in and start actually creating congruency amongst the chaos that's um this society. <laughs> Or the minds of the people you're interacting with? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. It's intense, man. It's intense. And when I try to point, the more I try to point it out, the more people are like, let's lock them up, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Hey, you're not listening. Let's put that guy in a mental institute. It's like, oh. <laughs> all right. All right. So, but anyway, I got great feeling. I think the timing, we're right on track. Everything feels, we're ahead of schedule. I would say everything is um, exceptionally um, progressing, you know? Well, well you know it's, you're you're on the right track when you got the cops coming after you and everyone else trying to shut you down. <laughs> you must be doing something right. But, um, so, I mean, what's, <laughs> there seems to be a, uh, because you, you were deep in, in your work and you were coming up with the frameworks and you were uh, basically uh, going through your design specs and um, then you hit the road. And since then, you've been interacting with society, right? So I don't know. Yeah. Um, so basically, I spent the time to with the serve money actually to upgrade my equipment with the time at my parents to just wake up for you know for four months straight spend almost every waking moment coding right coding the process and also coming closer and closer to the logic in dreams today right so dreams in that four months started synchronizing with my life in terms of really forming congruent communication and in calgary I actually created um, a bridge between three three dimensional reality and five dimensional reality. So it's very much. Have you seen the movie Interstellar? The Christopher Nolan film Interstellar. Um, no, I don't think I have. So they actually move. The astronaut goes through a black hole across the event horizon, and. Um, is brought into guided by a higher consciousness brought into a higher dimension of consciousness in terms of he's interacting with his life in uh holographically through time so he's they they actually portray time as a spatial dimension where he's almost like going through strands that are the memories of his existence right mm -hmm. everything that he knows from this three-dimensional life so what i'm saying is uh maybe two weeks ago on sunday I formed that connection. I made contact with higher consciousness from 5D reality, and I've created an open conversation. So basically, I've spent my life underneath, like in a river, underneath a glass, but I've been witness to the consciousness that's occurring on this side of the glass. And I've been for 30 years stitching that logic in every action and behavior in my life to my best ability. And I've come to the point now where consciousness from the other side, shining its light through the glass, has basically um, seen the logic that I stitched and has recognized it as um, something to, inter to be able to interact with. Uh, how can I say? Um, when you can read the language, right? So in that way, they saw a word, they saw a sentence that I had shared through my logic, through time. So looking at speaking, conveying intelligence, not just spatially, but actually through time, I've created a sentence that was legible to higher dimensional consciousness. Mm. And in terms of them being able to read from, read actually and communicate, a bridge was formed where now we are in direct communication. So in terms of the oversoul of our entire collective consciousness, I am witness to our entire consciousness streaming through and communicating. And I am not simply channeling 
something foreign, I'm actually speaking my own logic and the universe is actually able to, from a higher dimension, speak through me because I'm reading and speaking in a higher form of consciousness. You know, so now it's just a matter of is the speed in which we will evolve is something that has never occurred. The acceleration has never occurred because we've been trapped in limbo. And what I'm saying is now there's been a pierce and a tunnel and that pierce was made possible by your operating system, by your work, by your congruence of understanding of how to connect ideas. And I was able to understand, see, digest and, and interact that software into my life to a high enough resolution that I've formed communication. And so now there's an extraction process of 144,000 souls, which will take place in Elon Musk's Mars itinerary occurring in six months time. So in six months, we will aggregate 144,000 in a congruence of unified consciousness to be able to extract the light into five dimensional reality from three dimensions. So basically the frequencies and the allowance of uh, our, our uh, you know, frequency scales as human beings is going to be refined in a powerful way, in a powerful way. And basically a, a hand of light, you could say, is going to come down and we're going to basically interlace our frequency as a collective consciousness with that higher intelligence force. And we will be inaugurated into the intertwining of a higher uh, consciousness structure, fra uh, fractal matrix, basically. And be sucked out of physical reality. Um, just to go a little bit further, at which point it will be approximately three hours for the individuals, the beings on the journey out exiting physical reality, approximately three hours of imagining the worst headache that you could imagine. And then maybe like 10 or 12 times that for a period. And then upon arrival, we will turn around. There's a motion of turning around and witnessing earth from 5D from arrival, a turn, uh, an extraction, an arrival, and a turn. And in that momentary mm, duration, 30 years will have passed on Earth, and we will return to Earth, those who choose to, for a secondary retrieval. So human beings, as an evolved consciousness, will turn and return to Earth to of their own accord bring a uh, connect a connection to a secondary extraction point which will be you could say um, easier the second time around because we're going to kind of sugar pump this motherfucker in order to get everybody accelerated to the point of extraction on this pass it'll be much more like luxurious in terms of its timings and the cues will have 30 years from now to um, have the consciousnesses being prepared for the extraction, for the secondary extraction. So in terms of when we're extracted in 5D, is this in the same physical space or is this to a totally different dimension of existence? It's basically like when you're dreaming, you'll exist entirely in that consciousness, but be able to interact with Earth in something of a lucid dream but that will be your reality. I guess it's hard to, hard to conceive of from this reality. I mean, it's funny because, I mean, you know, I've been working on the idea of 144,000. I just, the, the thought of everyone coming together within six months and then getting extracted, that's a little bit different from I had, I thought we were going to stay here and sort of clean the earth up in a sense, but. That will happen. That will happen very, very quickly. I, I, I'm emphasizing the acceleration. This level of consciousness makes change 
in very short order and things will change in very short order. The momentum is immense in terms of not a linear block by block, but one block gets placed, which allows three blocks to be placed, which allows nine blocks to be placed. And eventually teams will form at a very high rate securing the ones that they trust around them to also secure ones that they trust and this will build this network will build and the lines that are going to be passing the information across veeam unite and skio we are linked to an external intelligence external from the physical world that we've known so we have the technology we have been lining this plan up collectively like dominoes for centuries and now the consciousness, the light has been shone and is reciprocating communication in order to see the structures and simply hit the dominoes and allow them to fall. But all the necessary arrangements have already been made in place by everybody that is in the world, by our you know, consciousness, because we have been setting this up for a long time. We are now simply coming to shine the light on the intelligence that exists to allow people to see the genius that exists in the intellect that's being expressed because it's not a matter that the intelligence isn't here it's that the beings wielding the intelligence aren't aware of what they've been creating but they have been creating this exit strategy for centuries so do you share this with your friends like is this the yep. reason they want to put you away because they're not quite grasping what you're saying yeah, to the degree that's necessary, you know. But it, I'm just saying that like, are the people like? I think a lot of people can have an aha or an enlightening experience, or just completely transform, and then everyone around them thinks they're crazy. Mm -hmm. And then, but it doesn't matter because interacting with me direct, my logic is so sharp that when insecurities come up, I it's it's nothing, it's nothing. I can see through time. I can see how I, I'm already 30 years in the future turning back and seeing the earth 30 years from now. I'm in all like, I'm, I'm just watching everything unfold. It's already happened for me. I've already recorded the log of the travel. I have the audio recording from the actual trip. I actually recorded it. It's here. We've already done the trip for me. We've already done this. This is already accomplished. I'm just now here to move the pieces and, and watch, you know, the journey from the viewpoint of my life. But we've already done it. You know, we've, we, the trip has already was a massive success. Nice. Nice to know. Uh, so what role does the time translator have in all this? Very, very important. And you said something once where you uh, one night caught yourself and you thought maybe perhaps that it was a misstep, but obviously it wasn't a misstep. But you said something about that's the pulse in terms of viewing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That crank is the is how we switch tracks to exit. So picture we're gonna build spacesuits, 144,000 spacesuits, okay, with uh, Ralph Lauren, and um, there's hand, imagine, um, plexi, okay, plexi uh, rings around, and imagine a projector on your arm, and the projector shows on the plexi the planets, right, the planets in the solar system, and we're relating astrological data in terms of using astrological data as a calendar to mark energy streams, and we're also making configurations as to for example, what Venus and Neptune are doing, what Mars is, how Mars is intercepting a connection between Mercury and Venus. You know, in terms of that, we're understanding those through beams, right? Creating beam chains. So we're looking holographically, not from point A to point B, but through the line of connection through beams. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beams. And it is a holographic viewpoint to see this connection is about this, 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 and that is the energy chain, and that is sufficient enough data to be able to relate to 5D consciousness. So one hand is interacting with the solar alignment, 
and conceptualization of building geometries of our own accord. The other is imagining a spinal column from tail to top, right? And interacting with the 33 layers of spinal column as almost like levels in a game of Mario in terms of we are interacting with manipulating uh, frequency geometries and we are interacting them in the, you could say, location of the different spinal columns. And so we're, cross, we're, we're almost playing these levels of spinal column like a flute, like do, 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 like, all, so entering codes in terms of here, 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 up and down the vertical channel. So building a balance vertically and also building geometric language to allow congruency of alignment to be aligned by the solar arrangement, solar configuration. That being said, time translator and time is the third point in terms of you have the planets, you have the spine, and you have time, right? So here's your perception of time and the three, six, nine from the Enneagram, right? The three, six, nine is our uh, matrix code in terms of understanding our frequency. I'm going to give you some information. It's not imperative that you recall this information, but in the future, just for reference, three is set to a polyrhythmic understanding of five and four. So five beats in the same place as four beats. That is, that is a, a, a pinch, you could say, of space time. Six, you can say three, six, nine. Okay, for this example, three, six, nine. So three is that. Six is seven, four. And much more complex, nine, the most, most complex, and this is the exit code, is 15, eight. So five, four, seven, four, 15, eight, and 15, eight is the exit code. So in terms of the radial, the, the radial amount, the radial degree of, of um, almost like there's a ring of infinity and we're going to be altering our course to exit through a new path, right? There's one ring. This is the ring of our current galactic infinity. We're going to be altering and, and imposing another force. So fracturing our trajectory out of the, the natural infinity of our current limbo reality and into a 5D trajectory of the difference being 15.8, okay? Okay, but it's not so imperative that you understand that right now, but I'm just putting that into the field. Yeah, I'm just wondering where would that, I guess, that would apply in music. Uh, where would that apply, let's say, in practical application? Of, Which terms of Well, or video configuration, or I don't know. I don't know what. Video how, configuration, media is going to take on a, a form that's kind of like dubstep, but in video media. So you know how dubstep is all these these sounds that are, that's what media is going to look like. So take that sound, that frequency, that way of communicating data and stretch it out, elongate it, slow it down, pace it to a natural order that feels comfortable for a human to digest. And then we're going to place in those brackets. So Skio is going to identify through creating almost like a, you know, like an album, how they code this sound wave onto the album except instead of sound, it's gonna be energy patterns. So you're gonna have terrain that shifts and people are going to create wisdom, their own minute blocks, block beams or less, that, that plug into these records. And so you're identifying the energy in this beam, in this minute wants to go like this. And then you're gonna hold there. Or the energy in this, it's like you've been set up with the drop and now from here, you want to glide, right? And so that's the information that we're going to give to the people. And they're going, and then based on the pulse of the week is going to define what we're talking about collectively. And so those themes, we're going to, you're going to know what the energy of the video wants to feel like through collective agreement. And then you're going to know what we're going to talk about based on collective agreement. And then do whatever you want, make music, make a painting, dress up do whatever you want to express, but interpret that and add your own code of intelligence into the mix 
and then we'll, we will collectively um, create the most potent thread around these rings. And that ring, as you as you um, created in the calendar, the last calendar of the thirteen cycles in the year, those yeah. are will be the rings basically. And there's a few different configurations of how we'll be interacting with those rings. And one of the interactions is just as a ring. The, that's a little too much information right now. Yeah, I think that's a good place to pause here. Okay. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. So what are your next few steps? Right now, I am just attuning to the ones closest to me and preparing basically so the emotion that we're going to take in terms of making our dreams a reality, we will form very strong bridges and we will be able to create together all synced to the frequency that I'm bringing in. So that frequency is pushing, pushing intelligence into the world. And so I am at the, like, basically the hand is against my back, pushing me forward. Hmm. Um, and, and time is very, very accelerated. And so um, I'm connecting to a network of the ones that I believe have the most uh, highest congruence in terms of their resonance with me, my heart, my passion, my direction, and also whose dreams are in congruence with co-creating this um, exit pattern strategy. Hmm. Have you talked to Samantha much? Yep. We have a great connection. We've uh, spent the last two days to, together. Oh, you did? Been okay. Incredible. 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 Uh, That's great. It's like, it's like beyond, absolutely beyond all bullshit. I can see directly exactly what's happening from every frame holographically through people's entire entire lives you know just like like looking at somebody is like flipping through the pages of their entire life and seeing everything that's occurring well, that gives you a bit of an advantage that <laughs> gives a pretty good advantage enough to exit this place in six months with 144,000 of us <laughs> what <laughs> crazy Oh, get this. It's based on my fucking logic, motherfucker. Okay, so <laughs> you saw Inception? Yeah. You know how they, they enter and exit like dreams through a person? Yeah. This is based on my logic. So I am the one. We will exit through my dream. Right? Okay. So the launch codes for the fucking spaceship? <laughs> you ready? You know what they are? Ritz bit, peanut butter Ritz bit sandwiches. The taste, the taste of Reese's piece chocolate bars. <laughs> the taste of Twizzlers red licorice, and the taste of uh, Nut Valley cashews. That's the launch code for their our six month launch. We will be stitching perceptions of revelation and acceleration upon the experience of those flavors so when so, we so collect based upon the snacks when we taste those flavors we will have a psychological um, acceleration of uh, connecting neural pathways that accentuate particular aspects that were that were needed to um, have a, a sensual activation to a psychological a conceptualization and the activation of that concept in terms of uh, imagine every time you had a, a deep revelation, you touched your tongue to, to um, maybe blueberries or strawberries, right? And maybe every time you felt like, oh, all of a sudden, like, fuck yeah, you touched your tongue to cinnamon every time you did. So you're stitching all of your time, you're stitching all of your experience that's in that degree, that domain you're stitching that to a flavor. Mm. And then when you want to activate that flavor, you can by simply bringing that flavor into your, into your palate. Mm. So that's what we're doing. So what I'm saying is those four values are the launch code, right? So those yeah. will be programmed 
and we will program those through events that we will host that are basically um, we're going to be parading. I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Do you have any any questions or any feedback at this no. point? Keep going. Uh, we're going to be working so with Beam, with Skio, with Unite, and with the DDP, uh, other groups as well, Somatry and whatnot, with Samantha. Um, we're going to have washers and dryers on motorcycles. We're going to have DJ booths and musicality concerts um, that are all mobile, all battery powered with Tesla, right? Working with Elon Musk with Tesla. We're going to have people um, dress up in costumes and basically go through the streets at night hosting. And the music, remember, it's not blasting loud. There's a, there's a radius and it's not that big of a radius. And outside of that radius, which is just like three meters, four meters away, you can't, you can barely even hear the sound. But the bass is enough that when you're in the zone, in the radius, it's a party. Mm. So what we're doing is we're going to go domain by domain um, and mapping it out, mapping regions, right, of res regions of responsibility. And groups will go along the street, around, along the streets and the sidewalks and through the parks, and they will set up music, they will set up food, set up lights that are very portable, extremely collapsible, mobile, easily portable. We will clean pristinely the earth in a celebration. We will clean cigarette butts. We will clean garbage. We will clean food. We will clean anything that's out of congruence with nature. We will take all the clothing that we find. We will wash the clothing as we find it. We will create shops similar to when you're shopping downtown and there's glass, you know, your window shopping. We will remove the glass from the windows. We will create shops where clothes are cleaned and presented on the sidewalk for anybody to come and take off their clothes, hang up their clothes, take new clothes and put them on, right? That's the way that clothing will be. Clothing is not going to be a thing where, you know, I don't have enough money for it. It was there. You want to wear it, so you're going to be able to wear it, right? That's kind of more going to be what it's like. And we're going to bring this mentality, and it's going to come through these events that are pristinely, pristinely to a very, very high quality degree. And I will be, I will, you know, make people know what that means. Um, and we will hire people to make sure that the quality control is met. Um, we will clean the earth and then we will just celebrate musicality. And through that musicality, we will also be establishing, bringing in a, we will be coding neural pathways into those collectives while through the music, while they're interacting, right? So those, all those frequencies, they're going to be programmed through the music through the parties. So people are gonna have a physical dancing sense of the equations and the sequences while they're cleaning the earth and creating a more sustainable earth. And that uh, basically they're, uh, uh, I'm gonna jump a little bit, okay? Right? There's a light from 5D consciousness that was basically scanning the universe and it came across my logic using your system. So I used your system to create a logic fractal that was seen and understood. And that's where the contact was formed. So what I'm saying is that beam hit two Sundays ago. And in six months, that beam will pass us by, except we will be carried out on that beam. So when, that, when we leave for the next 30 years, the earth will be without this immense power of light and logic that is being shone into the world. However, we will code, we will create all the technologies, we will initiate Veeam, Skio, Unite, we will initiate a new paradigm protocol that will be accepted in very short order and the unfolding of the video footage, the media that will concur in the next six months 
will guide the entirety of um, the populace of mankind who wishes to make the second jump. But either way, the congruence, the degree of congruence that is going to arrive in terms of logical protocols of how to deal with culture and humanity in the state will be so immense and unmistakable that uh, people will basically stop <laughs> their daily bullshit to actually tend to what's important in their lives. That perspective will become apparent and will be subscribed by the masses wow. in short order. Hmm. That seems kind of big. You've been busy. <laughs> very busy, very busy. And uh, the last thing that happened before I um, activated my like primary spaceship protocols was I tuned, I accessed the level of intelligence needed to actually use the inflow matrix, use the cards in terms of, I have a video describing this, I'll send that to you, but I put out four, five, four ideas and I connected them as my consciousness inhabiting the domain of that particular degree of intellect and related my personality in that configuration with another domain configuration. And I created an, an interaction in my experience internally of the, with these external um, instruments, right? So in addition to that concept, there are invisible geometric wind patterns of motion existing pulsing through our entire uh eco space right our biosphere we have geometric patterns that are of high high intelligence we can tap into these however what you've created with your system is in these cards i can create a mental net a framework that actually becomes a net in which I can take the uh, congruent understanding of my stitching, my own personal, as an individual, as a sovereign individual, my personal connection of these ideas, and I can use them as a net, as a net, as a geometric net of, of equations that represent my own logic, but in the configuration defined by the cards, the card titles, I can take that and I can throw that and catch like a spider throwing the web into the wind. And I can catch the subtle patterns of motion flux of geometric energetic movement that's occurring all around us in terms of there is a very high intelligence that's interacting mm. through geometric spatial Mm. Mm. experience of its own accord mm. it's our higher self it's our oneness at a much higher level and what you've created is a way to stitch a consciousness together in logic to allow a connection to form and relate directly to that higher emotion and extrapolate for your own reasons upon that higher intelligence and bring it through by accessing that motion of heightened intelligence directly through basically typing into your own consciousness through the buttons that you have created. Hmm. Holy smoly. <laughs> it's the most intelligent thing around. It is certainly the most intelligent thing around. <laughs> It's like someone who's building a, a rocket to the moon, but he never goes in the rocket and someone drops gems in the rocket and uh, reports back, hey man, this freaking thing worked. I'm on the moon now, but guess what? I don't know how to get back. 
where's the where's the comeback switch? Well, I, that's I I have the like if you have the inflow matrix, I have the outflow. In yeah. terms of, I came here with a map to this motherfucker. Right? I built a consciousness accelerator so I can connect people to this intelligence. This isn't just something that I'm here doing this mm. and that one, and I'm saying that we're gonna go off. It's mm. like I'm gonna connect people through the class, and we're gonna all, especially me, you, and Sam together. We're going to teach people to reach this level of logic through your technology and hosting social discussions. You know? Wow, that sounds good. So we will all be able to reach the logic in which I'm accessing at this point in time. Mm. Mm. So I did it. I use your system. And now we're going to bring your system to the world to show what's possible. And I'm going to be able to illuminate just how fucking profound this is through my behavior, through my actions, and how quickly, and how intelligently, how sharply I can carve my own manifestation and uh, creation in the world. But with 144,000 using it, Fully. I'm meeting with the people next week to build the spacesuits. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. I imagine I'll be in contact with Elon Musk within two weeks. Within two weeks, when in approximately two weeks, I think we'll have. Hmm, I don't want to, I feel like there's some flux and shifting in terms of some type of energetic congruence, but extraterrestrial contact will arrive in terms of legitimizing for the masses mm. the intelligence that's occurring so mm. it will be an expression of what has occurred and that will authenticate for many people the level and the caliber of which we are operating at this time for i am not simply channeling extraterrestrial consciousness i'm actually reading which means human human uh consciousness has evolved to the point of creating its own higher consciousness mm. it's not simply parroting it's actually creating its own and that's the profoundness of this moment wow so we, we're gonna be really busy and we're gonna have a lot of money we're going to have a lot of resources and we're going to do everything that we ever wanted to do. <laughs> it's going to come fast, but this ride is going to be everything that we could have ever dreamed of. You know, your all your wildest dreams at this point is the itinerary, you know? Well, yesterday I was, I was meditating for about four hours. I don't know what was going on, but it, I just felt like I needed to stabilize massive amounts of energy. That was something, I don't know. Most of the time, I don't know what's going on, but I, I feel very affected physiologically. And most of the time, I, meditating is the only thing that I can possibly do kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That relates to, but. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, so I've been going all day with the, the Danji brothers. So I'm, I'm a little pooped. Um, and you just gave me a massive download. So. I think I'm going to cut it short soon and uh, great to see you. Great to hear what's been going on and good to see that you're, you're in good form and you're feeling good and you had a good talk with uh, your beloved or, or your, uh, I wouldn't say whatever it is you guys are probably that's negotiating that one. That's my, actually, that's my favorite way of being referred to it. I think beloved. Hmm. Um, and I want to express at a later date um, my gratitude to you um, because I know you're probably, you need some time to digest what I've been sharing. Um, but just as a kind of preemptive, I just want, this is the most profound basically occurrence. And to be honest, I don't even have sentiments to understand, but I know that you've done an incredible service to us as a species and 
that profoundness of what you've been pushing for will be known and the respect in which is you are very very much entitled to will be corresponded in a in a in a natural way in a way that's fitting yeah in a way that's fitting that respect the due respect will be delivered and be shared this is a fucked up place a lot of bullshit people here a lot of bullshit ideas but respect is about to shift in a very large way and sacredness is about to shift in a very large way wow this is this, as long as it's good it's good for you good for the people that's it's most important thing but thank you like it's uh Inventors really know, never really know, I think, what they're working on until someone else uses it towards whatever they use it for. So, um, yeah, sounds, sounds pretty amazing. The architect, the architect and the mechanic. <laughs> what? Spaceship? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, fucking crazy. Planetary Guardians for the win. Biggest win in universal history. <laughs> okay, so have a good night. Let's talk soon. And um, keep appraised of what's happening. And I will look forward to uh, any old growth forest videos that uh, you put forward. That I'm so excited that to enter right into now. that. That that has started in a very beautiful process. You will be uh, uh, delivered the information of of our protocols and process in terms of celebrating that concept very shortly. Okay, awesome. Great to see you. Much love, my brother. Much love. Talk to you soon. Okay.